You're with the Silver Fox. I'm talking to makeover queen Shayna Blaze, who sort of made herself over. She was doing design, and that was all going terribly well, and then decided that she wanted to become, what, a singer? Yeah. Is that how it happened? I'm, I'm simplifying it, obviously. It, it came about a couple of ways. There was, um... Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So what it was is I actually originally went to Will because I, I had a couple of singing teachers that were teaching me to almost sing like Jimmy Barnes because I was doing a lot of a regular Sounding framework. like you were constipated. Well, no, just ripping ripping the hell out of my larynx. Right. It was really what it is. Yeah. And so I actually went to Will to relearn how to sing uh -huh. and to repair and I had singing coaching and then also yeah. vocal coaching yeah I, how long we've been working together for almost two years at least yeah, yeah. Two, yeah. Two, two, maybe yeah. two and a bit yeah. yeah yeah and then um and then it was a case of getting out of these you know just being in a band and, and sort of creating my own income as a single mum and right. so i put together a, a corporate band because he's playing bands and then will was the musical director oh God, that's going back. Yeah. I know. Yeah, Lord, it the is. things that we've done together. It it's is. frightening. And we had an absolute ball because we did, you know, do you remember the song Miss Bird? Yes. So my kids remember Miss Bird. Uh, can we have a, a bar or two, Will? Oh, it's, look, it's a song about a real estate agent who, um, <laughs> uh, when she goes out of the office, enjoys meeting up with superintendents of properties, etc. It's, it's set in America, you know, right. so, so, you know, the... the Hang on. I never knew it was a real estate agent <laughs> office. The, Look what I do now. Oh, my God. The, yeah. the, the, she'd um, make out with the janitor or whatever, and she, she would go to particular apartments quite a bit, you know. Oh. Yeah. And it was yeah. like, the sun says I miss Bird. That's my name. I'm one of those people who all look the same. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it. it. And so you had no idea oh. about, the, you know, what the song was actually No, about. I did, but I didn't know about a real estate agent. Oh, yeah. very so good. there you go. Yeah. Um, are there any embarrassing oh, it's got fantastic stories? lyrics in it too, remember? Amazing lyrics. Yes. Um, I can't I'm showing all. penthouse C as I begin. I still feel his hand sliding under my skin. My nipples start to throb inside my bra. That's when I start to go la da di da. Did I sing that? Yes, no. you, you, you did. And my daughter was born. She was singing that as well. That's the <laughs> one she remembers because having become a stepmother myself, the things that go in and the things that they retain, all the things you, you know, you perhaps shouldn't have mm. said. Mm. Love it. Don't remember that lyric. Are there, uh, <laughs> is it a hard task, Master? Because I saw your little interaction before mm. um, before we started. Ooh, quite tough, aren't you? Protective. Oh. Yeah, actually you are. And I, and I think that's the thing. That's why I find Will such a great teacher and such a great mentor is the fact that he's got my back. And I think everything that I've done in my career is having the right people around me, which we've sort of touched on what we're doing. You're sounding like Kylie Minogue. Oh, she always says, it's, it's the people around me it that have made me who we I were, am. We were actually having a very similar conversation yeah. in the car about a, a notable artist at the moment who, who's gone off the rails. And, mm. and, and obviously the people around them, or around her, aren't doing their job or are just smiling and saying, you're fabulous. And, yeah. and this person's absolutely on a downhill trend. But, yeah, mm. but if you, have, if, you, if you have a toxic friendship, a toxic partner... It, you can't We've do all what had you meant some to, of those, well, exactly. haven't we? So you can't do what you're meant to do if they've got toxic people in the mix. Mm. And I think, you know, I had a lot of toxic people in my life at different stages. And, you know, sometimes it's easy to move them on, sometimes it's not. Sometimes you actually have to put up with toxic people in a peripheral circle. Mm. But I think it's really important to have that radar of what is a toxic relationship. You're a toxicometer. A toxicometer. Does this mean the world is going to be more exposed to you um, from an auditory perspective? Oh, I don't know. I, I think it's one of those things that it's a, it's always something that I have done and music wasn't in my life for quite a long time and I've missed it. Yeah. And it's time to bring it back and it's time to live it and how that happens, I don't know. But it's, it's just something that I just feel like I have to do. I, I let it go at a certain stage and went, okay, that part of my life's done yes. and it was for that moment but at the mo but now I just feel like it's it's such a big part of me and you know I've sort of shocked myself going back to music lessons have you why what, what do you well, mean well I didn't think I could hit certain notes again and I actually did and very I was just quickly like, and yeah, both, of us, both of us just sit there and go where the hell did that come yes. from yes, yes. so yeah it's I, I think it's exciting to know that you can you know just 
retrain that muscle again. It doesn't have to be exactly what it was before. Well, but hopefully not, way. because you would, you would agree, I'm sure, Will, that you know your voice is it's an instrument, it's part of you, and you, you change, and so the instrument changes. Hmm. But emotionally as well as physically, surely. Well, um, the, the thing is that we never um, hit, when we were working together before, we never hit the Uber notes that Shane is hitting now. Right. Um, which you, at the moment, you know, of course, they're in a workshop sense and, and, and they are there for exercising the muscle, as you were saying. But she, um, her range is actually really very, very surprising. Now, you said before, you know, you have to be sort of really open and, and, and you make yourself very vulnerable. Is did that I? Perhaps, did I? When you're singing, <laughs> yes, I'm sure yes, you did. Yes, yeah. Vocally does naked. That, does that mm. mean that, that you're that you're braver or, you're, or that Shane is able to go to a sort of... Uh, place, a more raw place than she was able to before. Well, it's it's sort of... A, We're just talking about you, love. It's yeah, right. that, well, well, I mean, you, you know, <laughs> there is a term that I can't use on air that, 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 that describes a, a sort of recklessness, a, mm -hmm. a sort of a sense of adventure, a sort of play play with it and see what it does and don't be too attached to the outcome. Yeah. And, and so we've been, you know, in the vocal rumpus room lovely um throwing the the ball as it were of her voice around and getting to see how high it can go so obviously you feel safe with this man oh absolutely uh, i wouldn't have worked with him all that time and mm -hmm. created something and then come back if i didn't feel safe and i think yeah. that's you know you've got to feel safe with the people that are around you so that you can get the best of yourself and mrs silver fox you were instrumental in that happening by the way yes Oh, hello! Yes. I've done yes. something good! Yes. You did! Mm. So I brought you two together again. I know, I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> you will, darling. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> She's yeah. going to sing. She's hey. here. <laughs> but she won't be hitting any of the Uber notes, you understand. Because no, they're yes. staying in the vocal rumpus room for now. But they may get an outfit. We're still, do right? we're still doing play school. <laughs> <laughs> Now, do you pay Will real money, or do you do you change his environment? Do you improve his environment? No, I pay him real money. His, I, his environment. Pe people need money. It's true. Well, yeah. I have been wanting a donkey in my hallway, you know. But that's a sort. That's what a designer does. It's not it? that kind of show, Will. I was honestly, <laughs> I was going to leave that alone, but you went there. <laughs> Anybody got a spare donkey for Will? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought everyone had a donkey in their home. I know, just in your imagination. That's cute though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I was thinking, though, you could only have half a donkey with Jen. Oh, the fine Good man. Say hello, Ian. Yeah. Because only a fool would want a donkey's ass now. I want to think, is when you go around to people's houses, because I think, oh, it'd be lovely to have Shane around, thinking, no! No, I know, I know. Because she's going to look at the place and go, oh dear, this is not elevating anything. I hate the fact that I instill fear in people. I hate that because that's a thing of like, well, you shouldn't be afraid of your house, really. You know, your home is your oasis and you should feel like that you invite people in to feel good. Yeah. So, yeah. But then there's the other side of it. A lot of people say, oh, you know, I'll cook you dinner and come around for advice. And I go, it must be a bloody expensive meal. Good for you, Mum. <laughs> oh, no, Those days yourself, are done. Don't sell yourself too, oh, boy, too sheep. Two chicks, the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going through all kinds of farmyard animals now. <laughs> I swear I could actually fluff seconds. up the lines, but we'll see how we go. Oh, no, we'll just go to news early. Mm. That's fine. Mm. Do you need... Mm. Look at me, mm. mate. Yeah. Don't try this at home, girls and boys. <laughs> Don't mean to make a nervous, but Shana is about to sing live. 14 seconds, stand by. Let the wonder unfold. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, I need it up a little bit louder.
that life's a ball so full of superficial some people want it all but I don't want nothing at all if it ain't you baby if I ain't got you baby some people want diamond rings some just want everything if everything means nothing if I ain't got you some people live for the mountain the promises forever young some people need three dozen roses that's the only way to prove you love them hand me the world on a silver everything <laughs> but everything means nothing if I ain't got you people ah, oh, I've lost my place <laughs> when you can't know I'm nearly there means nothing if I ain't got you yeah that was really live <laughs> you with me, baby, mm -hmm. and nothing in this whole wild world don't mean a thing, if I ain't got you with me, baby. Oh, thank you. Funny bits in there. <laughs> I like your funny bits best. I love a funny bit. And you know what, Shayna? It's like when you had the funny bit, when you came back, you sounded even better. No, it's, you know, when you, when you do, when you have, I don't know whether you've felt this, Will. When you've dropped your bundle, you do feel oh, much better. It's because you've just gone, yes. you've got nothing yeah. to lose. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's, we, it, it's that factor that I was trying to describe that I can't use the word on air. Ah. Oh. That mm, factor. Uh, uh, I'm with you. Yeah. Well, oh, too funny. it's been amazing. Shana Blaze. <laughs> thank you. What Thanks a blast. for having me. Thank you. And thank you to Will. No, oh, I was no. going to get around to him. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Once I've done you, oh, well, <laughs> you've been oh, done. There you go, been done. Yeah. What an All absolute pleasure and, and a huge revelation. I didn't know you had that much history, and I'm I'm so excited to know that you're working together now. I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes of that. Yes, Mr. Moyle, Serena. Oh, I'm a beautiful girlfriend, Zoe. More of your favourite shows. Joy ninety four point nine.